if you want to be a shredded cunt, these are some behaviors that you should map yourself, map to your habits. These are some behaviors that you should do on a regular basis. Every day, if not every week. If you want to be a shredded cunt, walking 30 plus mins a day is going to be huge. That is going to keep your baseline metabolic rate at a lot, uh, a lot higher capacity, which means on the days where you don't eat much, you'll lose even more weight. On the days you eat a lot, you won't gain as much weight, etc., etc. It is cash in the fat loss bank every single day. So I would recommend walking. Doesn't add a lot of fatigue, doesn't take too much time, decreases mental stress, will help with being a shredded cunt. Training, obviously. So if you want to be a absolute freak, brother, have a look at, you can see the tone through the jumper, brother. That's where the, that's where we are, brother, yeah? Training is the number one thing. If you want to have big shoulders, big legs, everything in proportion, keep your waist looking small, but your shoulders looking large, training is gonna be the best way forward. You do that by, you know, do side raises, shoulder press, all that sort of stuff to create the illusion that you have really big shoulders or really big legs. Gives you the illusion that you've got an even smaller waist. That is your basic bodybuilding trick to make you look like even more like a shredded cunt. Number three, or line number three, rigid with food. I say rigid, but what I kind of mean is structured. So we're gonna like rigid or structured with food. If you're structured with food, it means you have this more or less the same breakfast or like three, you have options for three different breakfasts. So three different options for breakfast, three for lunch, three for dinner. That is what's gonna keep you in a fat loss state very, very easily because you kind of have three options each day what to eat. So for me, typically, it's like a food for fitness meal, food for fitness or a pre-made meal for lunch or a Subway or I think when I had an oven, it was a oven, like high protein pizza that was like 600 calories. Those are like my three fat loss meals that I really enjoyed and I could eat at any stage in the day for lunch and that would support my fat loss goals. But if I went and got a burger, that would kind of f my fat loss goals. Just making sure you are structured with food and it is a well thought out structure. It's not just like, well, I'm gonna have McDonald's or KFC or Hungry Jack's. I had a dream about KFC, I think it was uh, Hungry Jack's last night actually. Completely useless dream, completely useless information. Making sure we're structured in an in intelligent way that keeps us in a calorie deficit and in a way that we enjoy is going to be f super key. Next thing we are gonna have a look at is going to be sleep. What shredded cunts do for the most part is recover really f well. Otherwise they'd be bungled up, little injured, shredded little balls of muscle. So we need to sleep seven to eight hours. If we sleep at seven to eight hours, our impulsivity will decrease, our decision-making ability will increase, we'll have more energy throughout the day, so less need to eat food to make up for that energy deficit, etc., etc., etc. So sleeping is gonna be one of those great habits. So if you wanna be a shredded cunt, what I would advise is walking 30 plus minutes a day, training every day or training most days, being structured with your food, sleeping seven to eight hours, and of course, hugging your friends. How beautiful, huh? What a great finish to a great clip. If you don't like this, fuck off. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Team, if you like that video, be sure to click here for your next video or here for something that you may like, all that sort of stuff, and make sure you subscribe and then click the notification bell to make sure you get all our videos. We make at least one video daily on a different topic. See you on the next one.